thought long and hard as whether it was worth taking on. Good pot. Now, can he make the most of this opportunity and take us into a deciding frame? He's given himself a chance. Nine. The black only available into the left corner. But he's played that nicely. He can pot this red and play for the black in the same pocket. He'd love to get rid of the red that's 60. just to the right of the black. So he could play and have the black available into both corners. 17. Well, there are reds in the middle of the table, so I wouldn't put all my eggs in one basket by necessarily playing the cannon here. It could go wrong. Well, he managed to be able to screw past the red. What a chance. 24. Yeah, it's a great long pot to get started. in Markley's position in place since then. Got to keep that going, though. 25. <laughs> We talked about commitment earlier on, and he certainly committed on that red. 32. Those are the type of shots that gets the adrenaline pumping. Risk involved. They well have been 33. out of this tournament if he'd missed that red. Now we're very much still in it. 40. I must say this has been uh, an outstanding debut uh, appearance for Michael Wasley, the Crucible drawing the number two in the world and has played at a very high standard. 41. Slipped out of position there first time. Yeah, he wanted to put a little 48. bit of side on that, but he's still on it to the middle. And nicely in. 39. And he hasn't looked like missing here. Yes, and it's all blacks, but I'm not 56. even thinking about maximums, and he won't be. He'll be playing for the blue <laughs> off this. The frame's the most important thing. 57. Pop the blue. Another couple of reds, couple of colours. will take us to that decider. Quick glance at the scoreboard. May have to play the cannon here. Unless there is a red he can play for. Played the cannon, and it's worked out nicely. Well, I say nicely, he's just going to be slightly hampered by that red closest to the cue ball. 62. He just might not be able to get to the centre of the cue ball, which makes this red a little bit awkward. 63. But OK, played it well. <laughs> Frame at his mercy now. Decider coming up. What a performance. Brilliant long red, and as you say, Terry, never looked Seven. in any danger from that moment on. He looked completely at ease. 71. Ding Jun Wee is going to go to a decider. Another one. We've had quite a few of those this year, so in the first round. Yeah, so how many times do we say that the seeds are always under pressure the first rounds, even though it's best of 19 frames? On paper, on form, you think, well, 
there's certain things John Weir has won five ranking nine. events this season, equaling Stephen Hendry's record, but counts for nothing when you come out of the crucible. Anything can happen. Well, you got a bit of a bounce there, it seemed to me, off that cushion. Doesn't matter 86. though, frame long gone. He's walking on water out there at the moment. Not so long ago, he was worried a bit about staying on tour. Came through the Q School a few years ago. Those players, the first objective in the first year is to stay on tour, and that's not easy. 94. Now he's in the crucible, going to decide in frame against the number two player in the world. And in goes the double, so we may just see a century, and what a performance that would be, considering 95. the situation. Pink or black for the century. So he's come out, all guns blazing. 13 reds, 1 blue, 11 blacks. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. One hundred and two. And in that one goes. Now, if that red stops, the black may be available. He's put his arms up. The black doesn't go to the corner. It could go in anywhere, this, I'll tell you, anything could happen. Well, not quite, but what a marvellous break that was, 103 from Michael Wosley. Great opening red, and he's now taken the world number two and one of the favourites for the championship to a decider.